Well, it's funny the way it all started. It started when I got a phone call from Nashville asking me to write a song that could be recorded by uh, two men. Pal Grisham and Bobby Ray Burns both knew they was going to leave. Trouble was, Kitty O'Donnell couldn't leave but with one of them. Uh, sort of in the vein of uh, Seven Spanish Angels or the Pancho and Lefty, uh, that kind of Western song. And so uh, I asked the guy, are you serious? He said, yeah, but he's a big practical joker. And to this day, I don't know whether or not he really wanted the song. But I wrote a song and I happened to play it for uh, my attorney in Nashville. And he said, you know what, you need to write a script for that. And uh, I'd been approached by friends of mine saying, Milton, we ought to do a movie that will support the Mobile area and that we can all be part of. And I said, uh, you don't understand this business. If we do that movie, I'm going to lose all of your money. I'll put money in, I'll put more in it than anybody, but just know that I'm going to lose all your money. Let's go for it. So uh, uh, I go back, I write the script, and we, the interesting thing is we, we cast a young guy in that film that uh, to play the young cowboy. It spans 30 years in uh, the life of the three protagonists in the film. And the young cow one of the young cowboys was played by Josh Holloway, which time uh, hadn't happened, but subsequently, of course, played Sawyer on Lost. The other young cowboy, Shannon Rowe, already was well known because he had done Buffy the Vampire Slayer and a number of other things. But the song came first and so the movie sort of had to mirror the song. I'm not going to sing the whole song for you right now, but... Though the range we remember disappeared one December Grew up in concrete and steel The wild Mustang ponies we rode for a living are just names on Ford automobiles. We're just two throwbacks with no way to go back cause we're too far over the line. We beat the odds when we made it this far but we're riding against for the time. Hey, me and me go in our dreams, we can still go back across the old Rio Grande. Beer and tortillas, dark-eyed senoritas, nights making love on the sand. We'd save a few pesos for morning cerveza, ride like the wind to get home. Hey, me amigo, where did all the years go? Hey, me amigo, now ain't it been fun? Hey, me amigo, now ain't it been fun? That was uh, the genesis of the start of the screenplay, Me Amigo. Basically, Me Amigo tells a story of two cowboys who were best friends and they loved the same girl. Uh, when I showed this movie at a film festival in Florida, an elderly lady came up to me and she said, I just love that film, Milton. Uh, you've made uh, Cowboy Casablanca. You know, Humphrey, Folk, Humphrey Bogart does the right thing. Uh, one thing that I did, uh, I gave myself an Alfred Hitchcock uh, moment of fame, a little walk-on. Uh, 
and it's a scene where Josh Holloway comes riding into camp after breakfast and everything's going and I'm playing cookie. Pretty damn good vittles, huh? I'm gonna take no answer as a compliment. <laughs> I ain't even gonna ask. You got anything left? Well, I could tell you I had braised buffalo balls, but uh, truth of the matter is I got some stale biscuits and some camp coffee. Take some coffee. You seen Bobby Ray around? He rode in a mite back and didn't eat his breakfast, and he, I heard he drew his pay, sold his tack cheap. Last anybody saw him, he was hitching out of here. Damn! So I write the script visualizing being able to make it in Alabama. It's crazy that Alabama is not exploited more for location filming. It's got a little bit of everything. I mean, you go all the way back to To Kill a Mockingbird and all films like that that have been made here. But I shot this film in Mobile County in uh, Baldwin County. In fact, I made that the site of where most of it happened. A lot of it up around Peterman, which is a small town near Monroeville. One day we went over to Mississippi to the Escatulpa River, which is right on the Alabama-Mississippi line, and I cheated the Escatulpa River for the Rio Grande. And gosh, it, uh, if you see the movie, I defy you not to think that we're looking at the Rio Grande. We did all that in Alabama. And the interesting thing was Alabama being a right-to-work state. I've got union people and non-union people working side by side in perfect harmony. It was a delight. They made the filming experience, and I'm talking now from behind the camera, they made the whole thing uh, pleasant. And so I'm thinking, it's really nice to be able to shoot in your home environment. But even more, uh, it was good to be building a cadre of young below-the-line people who helped us. And we're doing that. And there are more and more of those people. And I see our area more and more receptive to the creative and the performing arts. And if me amigo helped along those lines makes me feel good.